Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be making a fantastic fall treat. It is a pumpkin juice recipe. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, you probably wondered what pumpkin juice tastes like, but maybe you've been to Universal Studios and tried it over there. I've actually never tried it, but I know there are some knockoff recipes, and uh, this one is kind of inspired by some of those. And it's also thanks to our friends at Comfy, who sent me this fantastic juicer to test, which I did in my last video. Be sure to check out the link below if you're interested in buying your own juicer. It helped me make some great uh, apple juice, which in the last video we turned into a delicious apple cider. And today we're just gonna take that up a notch once more. So I'm going to take basically one liter of apple cider and this took me about 15 apples to make. 15 apples gave me a little bit extra. It kind of depends on the size of the apple that you use, but I just juiced them right there in the juicer. It's very easy, very delicious. Now it is time to add to it. So um, for sweetness, we did add uh, some honey in the last video. So I'm not sure if I really need a bit of extra sweetener, but if you are going to add some sweetener to this, and I suggest you just do it to taste, I'm going to use some brown sugar. Um, you can actually mix a little bit of white sugar, a little bit of brown sugar, maybe some artificial sweetener if that's your thing. And then we're also going to be using some pumpkin pie spice, some pumpkin uh, puree or filler, and some pure vanilla extract. So we're going to start actually with the pumpkin uh, pure pumpkin, 100% pure pumpkin, and this is a 15 ounce can. I'm just going to, whoops, try not to splash this too much, but I'm gonna dump about a quarter of that can in there. A little bit more. Again, you wanna do these recipes to taste, so you're probably always gonna wanna err on the side of caution. Put a little bit less in there to start. You can always add a little bit more. We're also gonna add maybe about half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So we'll just shake a little bit in there. And there we go. Just give that a little bit of a stir. And then the last thing that we're gonna add to this easy, easy recipe is some pure vanilla extract. Again, about another half a teaspoon. So, there we go, a little bit extra, it's fine. Again, there's no hard and fast rules for these. Just uh, go for whatever feels good, what, what feels right to you. So we're gonna give this a good stir, you know, with the uh, pumpkin pie spice in there and a little bit of that brown sugar. It's gonna be a little granulated and I'm using ice cold um, apple juice, apple cider that we made because you know some people like hot apple cider. I like my apple cider to be cold. So we're just gonna give it a lot of stirring to mix these in. Probably would be a little bit easier if it were warm, but I think we're good. Now, if you watched my last video where we made this apple cider, I did mention that it was um, a little bit pulpy. In fact, we added a lot of um, spices into it, which didn't really dissolve too well. So. We strained those out um, after the video ended and actually made it a lot better, a lot smoother. Um, so if you do put in a little bit too much spice or whatnot, you can use coffee filters to strain it or a cloth um, and you're gonna get rid of all that sort of gritty feeling. But this is gonna leave us with our pumpkin juice. Mmm, it smells pumpkin-y. <laughs> so we are going to take a glass, just pour it a little bit. It's probably best to serve this over some ice, but I wanted to make sure that we could all just see that wonderful color here in my glass. Let's give this a taste test. Hmm, that is pretty good. I could say we could add just a little bit more and see, we can experiment and it's all gonna be good. So we're gonna add just a little bit more pumpkin, and I don't think it has enough vanilla flavor either, so you know what, I'm gonna add just another teaspoon. Give that another good stir. 
I was a little unsure how this um, pumpkin puree was going to dissolve into the liquid, but if you give it enough stirring, you don't have a problem. It just all does kind of dissolve, which surprised me a little bit, but here we go. All right. Let's try this one more time. I'm just going to... You didn't see that? It's all... It's all good. Okay, here we go. One more time. Wow, that is delicious. Um, it, it tastes very much like the apple cider that we made with, you know, the vanilla kind of makes it a little bit more, almost a creamier uh, flavoring. And the pumpkin, I don't know, if you like pumpkin spice, this will be a great drink for you. I was never really a big fan of pumpkin spice, but I like this. I, I think it's all this combination of, you know, the vanilla and the pumpkin and the pumpkin pie spice. It tastes delicious. I think if we added just a little hint of a whipped cream topping that you could mix in there, oh, that would be fantastic. But I don't have any, so this will have to do. And uh, I'm going to definitely not add some fun alcoholic beverages in here to make it an adult drink. Mm, but you could if you wanted to. Anyway, I guess that'll do it for today. So thanks for watching. Um, maybe in the next video we are going to try and use some more of our apple cider to make a ice cream. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you then. Till then, take care. Happy hunting. Mm -hmm.